Welcome to Powerboat Nation TV. Today let's take a look at rebuilding a Hard Marine Gen 7 sea pump. We're just going to do the standard rebuild kit today, which is going to include new wear plates, gasket, o-ring, and a new impeller. Let's get started. First we're going to remove this rear housing, which is a lot of different ones on different pumps. But just take and remove the six bolts. Now that we've got the bolts removed, take and remove the rear cap, set it aside, remove the old wear plate, take the old o-ring out, and then you can take a screwdriver or a pair of pliers and pry up the old impeller. Set it aside. We've also got a wear plate down inside there. We'll knock it out. There's the old wear plate. Set that down. Now we've got our new components here. We'll take on the wear plate. We'll take and put a little bit of grease on it. On both sides. It kind of helps hold it down. Plus it gives a little bit of lube for when the impeller starts to roll. Drop it down in place. We'll take our impeller tool installer from Harden. Start one of the bolts on the top side, slide it up, start the second bolt on the bottom, take a little bit of grease, we'll roll some grease in this, take the impeller and there's a flat inside which is where we're going to line up on this. So we'll just set the impeller in and you want to spin it anti-clockwise as you go in that's the spinning the way the engine's going to spin the impeller spin it until you line up the flat then you can they can just push it down until it pops into place pull your screws back out push the impeller in the rest of the way we'll push the impeller in all the way until it seats down in now we'll take the new o-ring Let's take and put a little bit of grease on the o-ring so that it'll seal nice. Set the o-ring in place. There you go. Now we'll take on the wear plate. The wear plate's only going to go on one direction. Um, so you want to make sure you check on which way that is. Okay, it's going to sit down that way. Take a little bit of grease. We'll just put on the wear plate so the back of the impeller will ride on it. Set the wear plate in place. Take the gasket. You can take and use some Permatex number three if you want to seal the gasket, you know, to the housing and to the back housing. Set the gasket in place, making sure it's going to align correctly. Okay, we're good there. Then we'll take our rear housing. We'll drop it back down on. Now we'll start our bolts. Taking you put all six bolts in. Torque on these is about six foot pounds. Doesn't really take much on a small little bolt like that. Six foot pounds is a lot more than you'd actually think. Now's a good time to actually get rid of these old blue drain caps. We can unthread those. Harden makes some nice stainless steel ones that you won't break again. So we'll change those, put the steel caps in, tighten your bolts back up, put it back in the boat, and have a great day on the water.